freshwater ecosystems on St. Martin are surprisingly diverse. St. Martin is a dry island with no rivers, but ravines between the hills, known as guts, have seasonal streams that are home to a variety of creatures, including fish, shrimp, snails, and aquatic insects. Together with algae and aquatic plants, they create a complete ecosystem of herbivores, hunters, and scavengers. For a freshwater animal, St. Martin has only a few habitats, guts, roadside ditches, wells, and fresh ponds. These habitats are surrounded by inhospitable areas, the dry land and the salty sea, like oases in a desert. During the spring dry season, many freshwater zones disappear entirely. In order to colonize freshwater habitats, animals have a variety of adaptations. Most aquatic insects can fly during part of their life cycle. Dragonflies, damselflies, and aquatic beetles can fly to find a freshwater area where their larvae can grow. Fish and crustaceans that have adapted to live in Caribbean freshwater environments can usually tolerate brackish or salty water. In many cases, these animals spend their larval phase in the sea and return to freshwater streams as they begin to mature. Snails often have the ability to seal their shells and become dormant during a dry period, a state called estivation. Some aquatic animals also have eggs that can remain dormant during dry periods and hatch when water is present again. Aquatic insects probably colonize St. Martin by flying, while some fish and crustaceans arrive via sea currents during the larval phase of their development. Snails may have arrived as eggs stuck to the muddy feet of migratory birds. Many species have also been brought by humans, usually by accident. Together, they form a fascinating community that is rarely explored, but uniquely Caribbean. One way to explore the freshwater world on St. Martin is to build a dip net using a strainer, a broomstick, and some duct tape. By sweeping the net in the water, you can catch many different kinds of animals. Guppies are native to some parts of the Caribbean, but were introduced to St. Martin. They can live in freshwater and salt water and are very common. Tilapia are native to Africa and have been introduced in many places. They often disrupt ecosystems and are considered one of the most harmful invasive species on the earth. The spotted sleeper is native to rivers bordering the eastern Pacific from Mexico to Peru. It may be a recent introduction to the Caribbean, possibly transported in the ballast water of ships. There are several kinds of shrimp and crayfish that live in St. Martin's streams. The largest species are considered the top predators in their ecosystem. Dragonfly and damselfly larvae are aquatic predators that transform into flying predators. There are a variety of aquatic beetles and true bugs that hunt and scavenge for food. Many different snails are found on St. Martin. The virgin nerite is a beautiful native snail. Their shells come in many different colors and patterns. From incredible transformations to the battle for survival between fierce hunters and their prey, St. Martin's freshwater habitats are teeming with the epic adventures of tiny creatures. The next time you pass by a livestock pond, gut, or roadside ditch, you'll be able to imagine the amazing amount of life inside. <laughs>